Paulie Dangerously, Paul Heyman. Oh, you got to be kidding. The darling of a... No. What, what do you want me he to say used about to, Paul? No, he used to call me up and tell me how he'd cussed out this guy, cussed out... And when he got to the, to the story, because I was there when he... And I love you, Paul. And, you know, I've always put you over your great promo. You got the most out of the least with the book, but I wouldn't believe you if your tongue was notarized. Um, <laughs> there, that's it right there. He, you well, just said he, it right he, there. He, he had told a story about when he yelled at Flair, and actually I was in the hallway around the thing. It was at center stage, and, and after Flair said, you're fired, get out, you're fucking done, and slammed the door and went back in his locker room, then Paul kind of then, wanted him then. to throw the garbage can. He told me one day to my face, well, I told Vern Gagne, you no good old sack of shit and windbag oh. and blah, blah, blah. And my face, it's like neon light. I'm screaming, no, you didn't. I mean, no, you didn't. But I never Paul remember was, him ever saying it. He wouldn't talk back to anybody. He's such a, he's a you know. Well, and, and I'm not trying to get you to knock him now. No, but honestly, because he's one I mean, of these he's, people. He's done people, well for himself. Yeah. But you can't believe a thing he says. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's a, Paul, I'm sorry, but that's the way you are. He came in uh, one time at, at uh, TBS studio, and, and this is an unrelated story, so I'll tell it very quickly, that he said he'd been in, back in New York and at the China Club, the hot spot, right? And he said, guess who came in? I said, I don't know, Paul. I said, Jack Nicholson. Well, it helps that Paulie does a great impersonation of yep. Jack Nicholson, right? I said, really? Jack Nicholson came into the club? Okay, that's believable. New York, China Club. He said, guess what he said? I said, wait a minute. Now he talked to you. Yeah, he came right over to me. Guess what he said? I said, Paul, what did Jack Nicholson say to you? He looked around. He said, Kid, watch the tennis racket. I said, now you mean to tell me that Jack Nicholson not only came up to you and spoke to you, but that he's a fan of our angle. Yeah. I swear on my father's life. Now you have to make me make a choice of whether Jack Nicholson is a fan of our angle or you want your father dead. Yeah. I do, you're, Paul, you're hurting me. I've got to put my bag down. You're hurting me with this stuff. But he, he told a great story, but he was a great promo at that time. And, of course, we got the original Midnight yep. after they'd had the run on ESPN. And, you mm -hmm. know, we were able to get them and capitalize on that somewhat. 